This is John from Clean Code Cast, and welcome to my YouTube tutorials. Welcome back to the KTOR project using Gradle. In this video, we will be going over how to set up auto reloading in KTOR. This is extremely useful when working inside the code files since it gives you a fast feedback loop, i.e., when you make a change, you save the file, wait a few seconds, and you can refresh the browser to now see the change, assuming it was a response change. All right, let's dive in. First, we are going to start by making some code changes that allow for auto reloading to work. Above the main function, we are going to add a new function, extending the application class and naming it my app. We can now cut and paste routing and its contents into this extension function, also referred to as a module in this case. Remove the server body as we have to change how we pass in params to the server. Just going to format here. And now we can add port equals before the 8080. Above that, we are going to add watch paths equals list of and inside that, the project Gradle project, ending with a comma. On a new line, add module equals application colon colon my app, the module name, comma, to give reference to the KTOR server. That is it for the code changes that are required to add auto reloading. We can now switch to the terminal. Now that we have the terminal open, we will need two tabs or two windows, whichever you prefer. In one of the prompts, we are going to type gradle dash t install dist. This will compile the source and will also listen for any changes made to the source files and recompile them automatically. Open the other tab and we can now execute gradle run after a few seconds pass. We can switch to your browser, type in localhost 8080, and you will see hello world printing out. After that, switch back to the code. Replace hello world with hi, I'm a Kotlin app, and save the file. Switch back to the browser and refresh the page. You should see hi, I'm a Kotlin app. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? So to recap what we did, we set up auto reloading with our KTOR project from the previous video to help recompiling when we make changes to the source files inside the watch path. This should make developing much easier, but note that this should not be run in production as it will have performance hits. So in the next video in this series, we will be bringing in Jackson, a third party package for serializing our JSON data coming in and going out to and from data classes. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button down below, make some requests via the comments section, or just say hi. As always, this is John from Clean Codecast signing off, and hope to see you next time.